Hi guys, Mike back again with another Blood Angel Army update. Um, been really busy on the Dead Man's Hand, which I'm going to do an update for as well. But this is the Blood Angel Army update, and I shall show you what I've been up to and what's sort of coming. Um, so at the moment on the painting table, we've got. Um, let's get straight into it. We know about the uh, the Fire Raptor, and I've shown you the little side pods with all the OSO OSL in the side pods so we've done those and we've done the top hatches and what else have we done we've done the two um, assault cannons at the front all weathered at the front there so they're going to go on so I painted those separately and done the base actually so at the moment it's just your regular Games Workshop base and flight stand. Um, load of um, wall filler. And I've just plonked in lots of plastic bits from my base box. So I'm going to spray all that up and have it a sort of broken wreckage terrain and in flying over. Um, once, I'd, once the filler was dry and I'd sort of inserted all this in, I gave the whole thing a coat of um, white PVA glue so the, uh, the filler doesn't kind of chip off. So that's ready to paint. Um, <clears throat> and then we've got these two little um, retaining bits for here. So there's a little uh, little slot up there. And these, I don't know if it's going to go. Anyway, <laughs> these go in. Oh no, it's not gonna fit. I need, think I need to sand some paint off to be fair. So anyway, yeah, these these retain the um, the pod, so they go in and then it moves up and down and stuff. So I'm gonna need to just file off paint in here before I put those in. So that's that. Um, and then I've gone the cockpit, so I've airbrushed that. I'm gonna paint the cockpit black, um, but have this removable still, so you'll be able to see the gunner. Or the pilot, so he's been airbrushed as well. But I have, I've not yet to put detail on him, so I need to put a lot of detail on him. And then the ship itself, and this is it so far. So, one fire raptor, um, airbrushed up, all the red airbrushing's pretty much finished. Um, it's been sitting on the side for quite some time. I need to go in and um, sort out all the detailing work, really, but it's come out pretty nicely. Quite pleased with the way that's come out but again like as you can see lots and lots of detailing work to do um, well I've got to paint the whole thing in fairness um, but it's a very very nice craft to be fair I, I like it so that's that so that's the fire raptor and then we've got our contemptor so I've shown you the base before this is one of my um, demolished I think it's demolished bases from Dark Arts Miniatures who do a line of all sorts of bases. They do this demolished version and um, an urban one and a rocky one and um, uh, infested, I think, and an alien one. So really like the way these come out. So um, I like the demolished look. And I'm, if you recall, I'm using these demolished style bases to base all of my um, third company um, Blood Angels which are all going to be kind of pre-heresy style so that's that so we need a Contemptor to go on it so this Contemptor is going to have a white head kind of white it was white but it's kind of got a bit uh, um, off-white with age and this is the Contemptor himself so he's running done all the airbrush work again the red is, is all pretty much done so he's running along I've, I've done kind of more red this side and again I, I did this on a previous contemptor just to kind of do something a little bit different and this side all the paint I mean as you go across this sort of side of him is all kind of worn off so and just just sort of the paint worn off basically so I'm quite pleased with the way he's come out I like, I like the red on there so it's not a big block of red it's it's all a bit different and mottled and you know so this side's kind of untouched a little bit so he he we've got it to my two little pins which mirror up for my two little pinholes there so he'll be 
attached to the base. But again, all the detailing work to do. So that's that. So Contemptor and Fire Raptor are my two Blood Angel projects at the moment. And what else are we doing? Games Workshop or 40k wise. Um, Quantum Studios is running, um, not a competition, uh, just a, a wondering really, a, a, a project, a project is the word, um, where he is kind of replicating what Mac, um, Marnius Augustus Calga, whatever happened to him, eh? Whatever happened to him, he was uh, quite an uh, integral member of the, of the community and you don't see a lot from him anymore, which is a real shame because uh, he, he was one of the guys that really got me into creating my own YouTube channel. There's a, there was a few integral guys sort of back last year, 18 months ago maybe, um, who really kind of uh, um, were kind of about all the time, posting all the time, and they all kind of disappeared, um, which is a real shame. Um, but Mac, Mac was one of them. So if you're out there, Mac, um, um, you know, hope you're okay. But anyway, so um, Quantum Studios is replicating what Mac did in that he is asking the community to paint up um, one Space Marine of any chapter. So obviously people are going to do different chapters and then send it to him and he's going to have a lovely cabinet full of um, hundreds of miniatures to represent all of the chapters. So I've, I, I like to get involved in these sorts of things. Um, this is the same guy who's doing the Help for Heroes Salamander Army. So, um, so you know, he, he's a good guy and... Uh, and it's nice to get involved in these community projects. So I'm going to go for the Eagle Warriors. So we will look in our Space Marine Codex to show you what the Eagle Warriors look like. They are an offshoot of the Ultramarines. And they are here. Eagle Warriors. So it's a half, half, half and half colour scheme. Half blue, half white. So that's what I'm going for. I fancy doing something a little bit different. Didn't want to do Blood Angels. Um, and thought I'd do something a little bit different and sort of do this half scheme of the Eagle Warriors. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to have to go through the bits box and find some bits. Just as a little uh, little aside, I shall show you show you me bits box and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, this is this is Mike's bits box. This is this is all my bits <laughs> that I have. So it's it's just a, a Black and Decker toolbox basically with lots of compartments and um, and they're all removable so and this is this is my bits box so we've got there's legs and torsos and heads backpacks shoulder pads themed shoulder pads I should say banners scout bits bolt guns and bolt pistols chainsaws and power swords special weapons um, Packs, you know, the, the kind of side packs and holsters and stuff. Grenades, muzzle flashes, which I like to use. Um, knives and owl specs, things like that. In that end one there is, is all Contemptor bits, the other feet, things like that. Then we've got some um, bits from my Titans that I didn't use, the pipe work and stuff. Some random basin stuff and things from my Leviathan and Mortis Crusaders. And that one there, I've got a few couple of Forge World models that came out of packs that I didn't use. So it's... Um, what have we got? Forget what you have. Got the, uh, oh, I think it's a Mark II Apothecary and something from the uh, Praetor, I think. Is it a Praetor or? Oh, no, it's not a Praetor. It's, I can't remember what kit set, set that's from. I think it's from the Banner Command, the Command, Mark IV Command pack. Anyway, so that's that. And underneath, it all separates out. So, and there's the other, there's the underside. So we've got regular Games Workshop bases of all sizes, um, some sort of um, flight deck style bases, um, all my kind of rocky bases and demolished terrain bases, my plane shoulder pads, which you accumulate hundreds of, uh, my bolter ready arms, um, what we got, dreadnought spares, terminators, Vehicle spares, vehicle spares, parts of Devastators. Um, that's all my Blood Angel bits. And what are they? There's some bases, random bases, but I've, I've cordoned this little box off for my new style Space Marine bits because I picked up, 
a while back one of the, the, the new Space Marine kits. So I want to kind of keep those bits separately. So because they're different weapons. So it will be Eagle Warriors. Um, one Marine. So as you can see, plenty of bits to uh, to draw on to make one Marine and, and do a cracking paint job on that. So if you um, haven't seen it, I'll put the link below. Quantum Studios. Uh, I'll put a link to the video. Yeah, if you want to get involved, I mean, there's there's hundreds literally of Space Marine chapters to choose from. Um, I'm, I'm sure you'll put a video up or a list up of who's doing what so far, so you know what's being done. And um, and that should be a really cool project, actually. That's, that's going to be quite cool. So anyway, um, I will catch you on the next one. Thanks very much, guys.